Hello friends, this is Sherry. How you doing today? Welcome to my channel and welcome to hashtag flea market journal challenge. So this was the challenge or the uh, open collab that was hosted by Maria from Maria's Miscellany, Susan from Susan House Art, and myself for the month of June. And it was the flea market journal challenge where we are making a journal this month. And we were we are using things that maybe we received as a gift, you know, free things. Uh, you could use Dollar Tree items, and you could use um, thrifted items. So any of that, any of the above, and your tools don't count, like your glue and your scissors and all that kind of stuff. you got to use that, right? <laughs> so a pretty easy challenge, I would say, and pretty fun. So we, the first week, we, we created our cover. Last Friday, we did our pockets and, you know, pages and tuck spots. And this week, we were embellishing and adding ephemera right the finishing touches so um it's not too late to join in if you just are learning about this or you meant to you know or wanted to join in go ahead and jump right in and you know do whatever you can today or even after this and just still use the hashtag you know we we are not um you know going to come after you and you know <laughs> tell you to stop because you know this is just a fun thing to do right and the more the merrier so <clears throat> Yeah, if you haven't started, go ahead, go for it, and just, you know, go from here. But um, here is my journal so far, so I did work on it this week before today, and I couldn't wait, you know, you know how I am, I just couldn't wait. <laughs> so I made a closure here with, <clears throat> this is some of the fabric that I used on the spine here, and I used this little, I showed you this in one of my Thrifty Thursdays, uh, probably a couple weeks ago, where I had this big pop top. I used one on my, you know, my popcorn journal. I used a little one from a soda can. And this one is from another type of can. It was a big one. I thought when I saw it, I thought it was so cool because it's so big. I've, I had never really had one or seen one that big before. And it's gold color, so it's pretty fancy. <laughs> no, not really, but you know what I mean. I just thought it was cool. So, yeah, I just tied this on here. And that is my closure so far. <clears throat> I did want to, let's see. I did want to add a little something here so this will be say like this while you do all I do to close it is just kind of do like this <clears throat> and just put the fabric through there like a belt buckle and pull it you know you pull as tight as you want it there's nothing really in the way on this one there's everything is that sticks out is kind of fabric or lace or whatever so it doesn't matter really how tight you pull it I wouldn't say um, but just for, you know, demonstration's sake, we will just do this. So I wanted to see how, I wanted to add a little pin here, and I already made it before the video, and so it'll be something like that. So I could put a pin, maybe I'll just put it right here, and then it will be, it'll be permanent, and I won't have to, you won't have to take it off or on when you're opening the journal. So I made this little bulb pin here. And I put this little, <clears throat> I had this little bead in my stash, and it already had this little kind of uh, wire through it, probably from, I don't know what it's from, but it, it was in my stash, and it matched the blue color here, matched the blue on here. And then I added a little bronze cross charm, and I added a couple of pieces that I showed you last night. I was experimenting with my big shot where I punched, um, I had some new dies and I punched a couple pieces. So I did, after the video, I punched quite a few more. And so here's a little tiny spool, <laughs> isn't it cute? And then those little ta tags I showed you, there's one right here. So it's like, they're like little charm. You know, I thought they looked like little, almost like little charms. So that's why I went ahead and put a couple on there. I just thought they were super cute. And then somebody could write some something on there, a date or a number or something. I'm just going to put it right here where it's tied, first tied onto this, this, um, let's see, let me undo it so I can make sure I don't get it through. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's my fabric. Okay, we're good. So yeah, I'm just going to pin it right here, kind of at this knot as a little charm for the closure. Easy peasy, right? And this is not going to be a flip through or anything tonight. I'm just going to show you what I've done. And we're going to try to do a few more things as time permits. But isn't that cute on there? Just pinned on there. Okay, so let's open it back up. And I'll show you what I've done so far this week. <clears throat> and we'll see what we can get done. 
I was, I, this has been a really fun, you know, all my, I love making all my journals, right? <laughs> so they're all fun. But okay, so let me move this. I've got a little, some threads here. Let me move these out of the way. All right. So what I did, <laughs> threads, threads everywhere. Okay, so oh, here's the inside. So here on the front, very first page, I added this card because it looked like it went, see how it's kind of like uh, the fabric, it looks, looks, looks kind of like the fabric of the journal, you know, just kind of like uh, the fabrics I used in here, it just kind of looked like that. And this is a, from a vintage Clue game, and this is the hall. If you've ever played Clue, you know you have the different rooms. So anyway, this is the hall, and I left it open in the back. Just put a couple little pieces of paper that can be journaling space. And so, it's, you know, somebody could put something in there. Um, this journal will eventually be in my shop, so <clears throat> whenever it's finished. But, yeah, kind of like a little belly band and a little decoration there. And then we had this pocket here. I added um, a little post-it note here. And it's just on with the sticky from the post-it note, I believe. Uh, it can be removed. So that is there. It can be moved around or it can be left there and used. It's to, you know, you can write on that. And then I just clipped a couple pretty, really pretty stamp postage stamps here that are from my stash. Um, this one looks like it's from another country. A really beautiful kind of a, you know, street scene there on three stamps. And then this one was pretty too. Oh, this one looks like it's from another country also. So really cool stamps. I just clipped them on there kind of so that somebody could use them or whatever. <clears throat> and then in the pocket, I added, uh, this is a postcard, a Canada pre-stamped um, card. And it's just blank. I like these blank ones. I had received a few of these when I bought some postcards and this some of these blank ones were in there. At first, I was like, I don't know what to do with these. And I was like, oh, they're the perfect journaling spot. <laughs> you know, you can write all over this and you can decorate them. But I just added a little bow there. I added my own, um, you know, homemade reinforcement on each side. Made just, I just make those from scrapbook paper and <clears throat> or whatever scraps. And this is a library card that I had received in Happy Mail at one, one point uh, from Dale McBay at Not Too Shabby Chic. So that is in that pocket. And so we're going to add, we're going to see if we could add anything <laughs> tonight. Um, you saw the pages last week and the pockets and things. And if I add any pockets, I'll tell you. But I did add this little card here, here, a playing card as a little tab on this flip out. Um, <clears throat> let's see, what else have I added? I added this. We did this together on one of my, um, one of my Tag Tuesdays. And so I added, this is just how it was when we finished. Oh no, I added a little, I said I, in the Tag Tuesday, so I was going to add something down here, like a word. And this is what I added, a little, um, I have these little vintage numbers from like a grocery store. And so I just added, and I love that the red there, it really pops in. I just love how that looks. So I put those there. I put some on the other one too, which is not in this journal. So here on this page, I think I added this this week. This wasn't here last week. This I have some... Um, I had bought some <clears throat> and thrifted uh, some envelopes, and most of them were from eBay, and most of them were um, envelope fronts. So that's what this was, and I just like this green one, and they were vintage. It has the date right here, 1976, and I like this green one and this stamp, so I added it here onto this coffee dye paper as a pocket, and then in the pocket I have one of my wrapping paper um wrapping paper journal cards uh, I think I added this lace during the video and I added this word I believe I said I was going to add some words or I maybe added one word and I was going to add some more words after the video so I added here it says memories so I added that word so I put that in there let's see what else have I done this week um, I added this pocket this wasn't here last Friday and it's a little bird it's from the bird book the little vintage bird book that I had used to you know do some crafting and so I just cut a piece from that page and added this pocket and this is a journaling card here another one of the wrapping paper cards and on this one I added the word adventure and all the words are made with my vintage uh, that I thrifted 
um, label maker. You've probably seen me use it if you watch my channel for a while. So on this page, I added just a few goodies that can be decorated, used for journaling space, um, a vintage piece of paper from a notebook. This is also from a little notebook. And these are two like papery guest checks. You know, the two copies, the front and the second, <clears throat> the two copies that you, you have with one of those. So and I just had clipped it onto this book page here with a pretty little teardrop. Uh, paper clip. I added a little pocket. I just had a scrap here and added a little flip up pocket with a couple of my little tags in it. From my little tag box I showed you. <laughs> so a little, this red one is blank so you can uh, write on there. And this is blank on the back and you can add a little string there if you want. I just thought it was cute. So I put those in there and you can write in here too. And let's see. What else did I do? I just clipped some tickets on here. This is a flip out. And so I just added these. These are very vintage blue tickets there and a little um, a bulldog clip. Oh, I have my two pages clipped together. Let's undo that <laughs> real quick. There we go. Okay, and that's the middle. Oh, I added some buttons here. These kind of match the journal. And I believe it or not, I just took these off of a, <clears throat> I'll tell you what I did, guys. You don't be shocked or anything, but I had got a, um, I had got a leather jacket and it's real leather from the thrift store. It was super, 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 super cheap. I mean, the cheapest, um, as far as the price that you could probably get a leather jacket, unless you get it for free, <laughs> you know what I mean? <clears throat> and then, um, I, I thought it was really nice. I liked it, but I didn't wear it and I was going to give it back to the thrift store and, and what I did was I, I cut it up. <laughs> Do you believe that? I can't even believe I did it myself. But I was going to give it to, back to the thrift store. I was like, this is really nice leather. And I like made a keychain. I made a couple of keychains from the leather. You know, my wristlet keychains that I make. I made a couple of those. And anyway, these were the buttons. And they were so pretty. This burgundy color. That was, the jacket was a little bit um, brighter burgundy than these buttons. So, but it was really pretty. And it made some nice keychains. <laughs> so... And I, now I got to use the buttons, and there's more buttons I have in my stash now. But let's see, what else have I done this week? Um, I added this little tuck spot. So we have one of my wrapping paper tags here. This one has the word beauty. And there's a, um, so I added this pocket with some lace. I added this little scrap here as a belly band. See, it slips in. This, and this is a little, um, is it one? Yeah, a little um, vocabulary card. Oh, is it one or two? Oh, it's one. It feels like two, but it's one. They're kind of thick. And so I added that in there in the belly band. And it's a little heart punch that I have. I had made some hearts out of scraps. And like um, I had made almost like a uh, master board with scraps. And then I cut punched little hearts out of it. So I think that's what this is. I think this is pieces. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's cute. And uh, I think we did this last week with the, did we do this last week where we added this burlap trim there? Um, I added this this week, I think. Um, this is a piece of my, like a snippet roll made from little scraps, the neutral scraps on this one. And so it's a belly band and I added some, this is a page from a 1985, you know, those dis desk calendars that you flip the pages over. Um, that's what that's from and then a Rolodex card so those are tucked in here so you see I already added a lot of vintage ephemera ephemera handmade ephemera and you know some light decorating here is this is a we had this pocket already last week and I added a cigarette or a cigar label here another one of my <clears throat> wrapping paper uh, tags where um, I added the word keep just the word keep. You never know what these words might prompt you to write, right? So, and here's a little photo. This one was really super cute. I love the smaller photos if I can find them. I well, and they're and they're, they're priced right, which is usually they're not. But this one's really cute. A little tiny photo. Um, it says, gosh, it looks like it says 1907. It could be 19. It can be 1997. Could it? I don't know. You can, whoever guesses can determine what it might say, but a uh, pretty lady there standing on a hill. <laughs> and it says, 
North Carolina says this is somewhere. Wilmington, maybe. Wilmington, possibly. I'm not sure. North Carolina. Anyway, there you go. <laughs> That's in there. <clears throat> and I added this uh, tab, you know, playing card tab as a flip out. Um, I added lace on this. This wasn't here last week. <clears throat> Some lace on this pocket. Just, and it was a roughly lace, so I thought it was really cute. Um, this is a postcard that I thought would be perfect. Like I went through my postcards and I was like, this is perfect. It looks like something you would get at a flea market, right? <laughs> this cat. I mean, it's, a, it's a, probably a super nice piece of art, actually. But um, I just look, I can see. I had bought a wooden chicken. I guess that's maybe why it reminds me of this. It, I had bought a wooden chicken for my parents as a gift. from, And it was like hand carved in Mexico. And I was in Mexico one time at the markets. You know, they have the markets. If you've ever been to Mexico, they have those at the outside, you know, markets. And um, I had bought this, and it was a good size. Um, well, it was a rooster, actually. <clears throat> Hand-carved wooden rooster. And it was beautiful, I thought. But this reminded me of that. And I, so it reminded me of something I would get at a flea market. So I thought it was perfect for this journal. And this is a page from an ad. <clears throat> a vintage little, you know, it's one of those small little um, address books. So a couple of those. And that's all I've added so far. <clears throat> so I have some things pulled out here that I wanted to go through. And we'll go through again now. And I have um, I have this tag, which when I made these uh, tags on Tag Tuesday, I called them flea market tags. And I, that I had this journal in mind. So this has to go in here. And one of the envelopes that we made this week on Wednesday in my video, I thought I'd put one of these in here. And so... <clears throat> let's see it doesn't matter you mean mine and mo right so let's do this one <clears throat> so it's coffee dyed already decorated nice and crinkly and i have a journal card i put out pulled out of my stash i'm going to put that in there and we'll find somewhere to put this and this and then i have these that when i pulled out one of these tags that i had made um, on one of my tag tuesdays too so lots of tags to add <clears throat> I have also um, pulled out one of these envelopes that we made one time a couple weeks ago where I was decorating these coin envelopes just with a simple piece of printed ephemera that I was trying to use up and I already added some butterflies in here. You know, I punched out butterflies that I, that I show you all the time. So there's some butterflies in there. And so let's see. <clears throat> I think I'm going to need some more paper clips. So let me pull some out. <laughs> I really enjoy um, clipping things in. I think that's fun for whoever gets the journal to be able to, you know, have things to play around with besides the, you know, the little goodie bag that I usually add. So let's, here's a couple of clips, fun clips. Sorry, I'm turning it around, I know. I'm trying to reach into my drawer behind me. So here's some fun clips. <clears throat> I like these little ones too. These are so cute. Aren't those adorable? They're the smallest little binder clips. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so let's see. <clears throat> what are we adding? All right, let's look for a spot here. Something that does a page that doesn't have anything on it yet, maybe. <clears throat> okay, so we have something here. I kind of like to go every other. So we have something here. We might already have every other. We might have to do every at some point so we have something there I'll skip this one so we don't really have anything on this one let's <clears throat> let's put our envelope here and we'll just kind of clip it on here let's see let's use the little let's use this little black one we'll just clip it up here all right that should be good. All right, it's gonna get fluffy here. <laughs> so we have something here too, something here too, uh, something here. Uh, let's see, there's nothing on this one yet. So let's put something here. Let's put the, um, this one's, let's put this one here. It's a little thinner. And I think I can just clip it right here uh, with this purple 
clip kind of it's kind of been around the block but you know so has all of this stuff right it's most of it's thrifted right <laughs> so <clears throat> all right so skip a page and so let's see we had something here uh, we didn't put anything here yet or oh let's put something here okay so we'll put this little um, envelope up here maybe just clip it right here and here's a little pom-pom paper clip I had got these from Dollar Tree so it's legal I can use it right <laughs> these I actually got free the little binder clips and these I thrifted these little plastic ones so let's see <clears throat> let's keep going here so we'll skip a page and go here can we clip this one here or do we want to let me let me look from the back here because I don't want to I don't want to jip the back of the journal right so we have something here skip a page something here skip a page something here something here <laughs> Thing here and we, we've got a lot in here don't we all right let's put this here even though we have something there and I'm going to use the little blue one on this one <clears throat> little blue binder clip and we'll just put I like these at the top these little clips so I always put them you know I don't like them on the side really I mean you could put you can put them on the side but I really like them at the top all right that's fireworks outside my, <laughs> my neighbor. He's um, a young guy. He's got a family. There's a family that lives next door. Two, two, little, two little, little tiny kids and um, husband and wife, but they're young. They're like in their mid-20s, I would say, maybe uh, 27 at the oldest. <laughs> so they're like kids over there. They play with their fireworks every night and do all kinds of stuff over there, which is fun. I don't mind. It doesn't bother me. I'm just saying, if you hear the noise, that's what's going on. <clears throat> All right, so we've got a tag there. All right, now that's everything that um, I pulled out to put on the pages. And I do have my Your Creative Studio, studio here. I might add some of this later. Not right now because I didn't get it free or, you know, thrifted. So um, I'm not going to add that right now. I'm just showing you that for... Um, Oh gosh, look how chunky it's getting. <laughs> Maybe I won't add any Your Creative Studio. The other thing I wanted to add real quick before my time is up is some <clears throat> like charms or something. So I have my bulb pins here. I have some bulb pins and a little bee dingles and things in here. So I wanted to add a couple to the ruffles here. I like to add, if I have tabs or ruffles, I like to add a little something, you know something to hang off the side little little journal jewelry so let's go to let's go to this blue one kind of in the middle and pull out a let's see do I have anything I don't think I have anything with a clip on it already so see these are all these are actually yeah these were um, these were they, they weren't actually thrifted, but they were on clearance, like super duper clearance. I'm not going to tell you where I got them, because I guess I'm cheating a little bit. But, you know, that's how it is. <laughs> I'm going to cheat a little bit, because I didn't get these, I didn't thrift these. But you could say they were thrifty, right? They were thrifty. They were super on super clearance, but I'm not going to say where. So anyway, cute little, I just pulled it out randomly, but I think it's really pretty. I'm going to hang it here. As a little dangle, be dangle, and so after this video, I'm going to go through here and see if I want to add any more decoration things like that. And then this will be, I'll come back and do a, a flip through, hopefully this weekend, maybe on Sunday, and uh, that it will be in my shop. Actually, if you want to. If I finish a journal, I usually just go ahead and put it in my shop. Even if I do the video, <laughs> if the video comes out one or two days later, it's already in my shop. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> if you want to, if you're interested, just check my shop over the weekend. And it's probably going to be in there Saturday or as soon as I have a chance to finish it and list it. So Saturday, Sunday. Okay, I need one more clip. I think I put maybe three bead angles. I'm kind of good going, uh above and beyond on this journal because I just 
you know, it was it's kind of special because it was this challenge and things like that. So I'm just, I don't know. I feel like I am. Maybe I'm not, but I feel like I am. Just putting some extra oomph into it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so that is gorgeous. And so we've got one there, one in the middle on the blue, and we need one more up front maybe on this Maybe on this ruffle here. Isn't that gorgeous? I know I probably showed it to you before, but I love that fabric. So, uh, another. <clears throat> I'm good. I'm just picking out the bead dangles randomly. So, we got a pink one and that one. I'm kind of crystally looking one. So, let me. Uh, here's a blue one. I'm actually not going to pick it out randomly. This is a beautiful blue crystally one. Aren't those gorgeous? I know the place that I got them, they were clearing these out. They're so cheap, I couldn't believe it. I never saw ch charms that cheap before. And they don't carry them, carry them anymore. I'm like, I wish, you know, <clears throat> I have some here, but I kind of like wish they wouldn't have stopped carrying them because I wouldn't mind getting more of these or so. I mean, you can make little bead angles, of course, like this, but to have them already made up for you and they're so beautiful it was so nice just to pick these up at the store but I will have to make some bead dangles soon because I have beads I need to use up and these are perfect like the little little ones you know what I mean so <clears throat> all right so <clears throat> you can kind of see it there and you see them as you open up the journal but that was three so let me show you that one real quick. It's so pretty. And it's got the blue, the blues in here. <clears throat> so isn't that pretty? All right, so she's getting fluffy. She's getting quite fluffy. This is that uh, journal card that we have right here, if you're wondering what that is, is. But you can see I've got one, two, three, four ruffles, and then that, and then I have the... Um, the trim from the, uh, let's see, where is it? Um, the burlap trim on that one page. And I wanted to show it to you. Where is it? Oh, here it is. See how it kind of, here, let me show you just really quick because I think it's really pretty. It's, here's how it looks on this side and then you flip it over and you can see it. I put it on the edge so it would stick out here too. And you see it from this side too. So I thought that came out really pretty. And that's that Dollar Tree burlap trim. All right, I think we are done for today. Hope you enjoyed my fun, you know, decorating and things this week. Ephemera, uh, like I said, I'm going to go through this. Look how she. <laughs> you saw it. Be Did you see it before? And look how it's like twice as chunky as it was when we started. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> that's funny, right? So, um, yeah, I'm going to go through this and see if I need to put anything else in here. Like, I don't need to, right? But I might, I might need to. <laughs> so, or I might want to. So, um, yeah, I will see if it's done. I'll do a flip through and uh, probably Sunday and today's Friday. And I've got other plans for Saturday, so I probably won't do it tomorrow, um, you know, tomorrow on Saturday. But Sunday, look for a flip through. And also, like I said, if you're interested, if I finish it before Sunday, it will be in my shop waiting for my video to come out. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the the challenge this month and the, the collab. Susan, I, Susan and I have cooked up something special for July, so the announcement won't be the first Friday. <clears throat> All of a sudden, I feel like I have dust in my throat. The announcement won't, won't be the first Friday in July it'll be the second Friday because you know we've got July 4th and stuff that first week so and there's five Fridays in July I believe so we're skipping that first Friday then we're going to have our announcement the second Friday then we're going to have our collab the last three Fridays so stay tuned it's something special and I think you all will really like it and um, I will see you then thank you to just I want to say a special thank you to all the participants I hope you don't mind another quick second here but we can't have a collab without participants, you know, and it's more fun. The more the merrier, like I always say. And uh, so thank you to a special thank you to all of the participants and I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Happy crafting.